Did you ever read that biography I gave you on David Crockett last month? No, but, but I'll get to it. No, no, there was this fascinating section about the mythology that grew up around Crockett and his rifle. There was this notion that a man could have a special relationship with a weapon. Some frontiersmen even went so far as to give their rifles names, female ones at that, thus changing the relationship between owner and object to something resembling man and woman. There's some great tall tales in that book. There's one particular story where Crockett was supposed to have put up a target against a tree and arranged a series of ten frying pans nearby in a complicated pattern. The idea was that he was going to shoot a bullet at one of these pans, which would then ricochet to another, and then to another, and then to another, and then to another. Wait a minute. That's it. Displaced targeting. That's how he did it. Who? Well, the killer. He set up an alternate bullet trajectory, one that didn't require a direct line of sight between him and the victim. <sighs> Julian, you're a genius.